Hi guys, it's Sumalty here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building another family home, and this time I am building one here in Del Sol Valley, which is of course the world that came in the Get Famous expansion pack. Um, but yeah, today I am building a retro style house. I saw an inspiration image that I'll put on screen so you guys can see what I was looking at. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to build it in this neighborhood. I just thought it would fit here perfectly. And the house just came together like so quickly and easily. And I'm just completely thrilled with it. I hope you guys like it like even as half as much as I do because I'm just completely obsessed with this home. I think it's so fun and it just feels like very nostalgic and like you could see this home in real life. At least this is my opinion. Hopefully you guys agree with me. Um, but yeah, the house ends up having quite a few bedrooms. It's a lot larger than I had imagined. There's four bedrooms on the second floor plus a play area that could easily be turned into more bedrooms if you guys really wanted to, but I just love the play area. I think it's super fun. There's also a basement bedroom on, well, the basement level. <laughs> and then on the first floor, there's a garage. There's the living room, the kitchen, dining room. There's a small bathroom on the first floor but I ended up just putting one in the basement to have another one because I figured it would be a lot easier for gameplay and then there's also an office space and a little laundry nook so yeah it's there's a lot going on in this home there's also a like swimming pool on the exterior and a huge yard and play area like tons of stuff there's even more space if you guys wanted to build like a shed or something in the back I don't know there's lots of space it's a big lot but yeah I just really enjoyed this home so much like I was saying the exterior colors I think are so cute like the combination of this stone the stone came from I think bowling stuff but I loved it with this yellow siding and then the windows the white ones that I have on the like the stone part of the house came from get famous but then the rest of the windows the green the green ones with the shutters i think they came from discovery university i just i love them so much they're so cute but anyways here i really wanted to have some like overgrown grass in the yard and this is like one of the number one times when i would have loved to have a lawnmower to put somewhere like i can just imagine the sims like mowing the grass here for some reason which sounds silly but for some reason, something about the long grass made me feel like it was even more of a retro home. I have no idea why that is, but I just felt like I needed it. But I really wasn't liking placing like the regular like landscaping grass and so I just put like a few pieces around the fence line and around the edges of the concrete and it added like enough of the effect to like satisfy it I guess for me but I would have liked some maybe mixed into the grass itself but I couldn't make it work so yeah this was good enough I think but over here I decided to place this tree and I put a tire swing on it and I think it's just so so cute this tire came from eco lifestyle you can find it in the live edit objects and I used the tool mod by twisted mexi to rotate it and raise it up to the tree to kind of like look like a good size and at the right height and good angle and all that kind of stuff but I just think it looks so cute over here I use a couple of um, like wooden poles that came from toddler stuff and I look like try to make it look like it's hanging from the tree of course it doesn't look perfect because the poles are kind of just like stuck in a branch and then stuck in the tire there's nothing actually wrapping around either of them to make it look like they're secured but it still looks pretty cute I think and I also hide a seat inside of the tire I use the little like uh, crocheted ottoman that came from uh, Nifty Knitting. <laughs> I couldn't remember the pack name, but yeah, it came from Nifty Knitting. If you guys don't have that pack, I'm sure there's another like small seat that you could easily hide in there. I did size it down, I think using the left bracket key. So if you wanted to do that with a different seat, you could probably hide pretty much anything in there. I just chose that one because I figured I could hide it really easily. And it's pretty close to the same color of the tire that I could have a tiny bit of it poking out. So you know what to click on. But yeah, I did play test that. You can click on the tiny little seat, a tiny little bit of it is poking through the tire. So you can see it, but you click on that and the Sims can sit in the tire and it looks so good. Of course, there's no animation. The tire doesn't swing or anything, but they can still sit there. And that's good enough for me. I think that is so cute and I just love it. I don't know. A real tire swing would of course be the better option if they could actually swing on it, but for not having that as an object in the game, I'm really pleased with the way that turned out. So yeah, hopefully you guys like that too. But moving on to the back of the house, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I couldn't really find a reference image that I thought would work with the shape of this house. So I, I just decided to like mirror the front of the house. I felt like that was the best option and I think it looks really good. I like the shape of the front of the house, so I think it's just 
yeah, I don't know, <laughs> the, the best choice for me. And I think it ended up actually making the house a lot bigger. Because like I said, um, the house just ended up being a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I don't think it would have been this big if I would have done like what I was trying to do originally. So I'm really pleased with the way that turned out. And yeah, I just think it looks so cute. On the back of the build though, I do have a back deck, a swimming pool area, a couple of lounge chairs, an outdoor dining table. Originally I used some chairs that I think came from base game on the dining table but then I remembered the ones that came from eco lifestyle so you'll notice in the screenshots that I used some different chairs and I think you have to turn on the debug cheat to find those chairs in case you guys aren't recognizing them but they're perfect for the 1970s style I even tried putting them in the kitchen um, once I was taking the screenshots but I decided I liked the chairs from dream home decorator better in the kitchen so yeah I don't know those would be a good option though so Definitely check out the Eco Lifestyle chairs if you guys um, yeah, want to switch up the chairs in the kitchen or don't have Dream Home Decorator. But back here I also have a play area with a swing set, a toddler slide. Um, I do originally paint the whole play area in with some uh, sand terrain paint, but I decided I really didn't like the way it looked back here. So I just got rid of it and I just wanted more grass basically. I felt like that suited the style better so um, I changed that and then there's also like some lounge chairs, a diving board, all that kind of stuff. I really wish we had a regular diving board though. I like the one that we have, it's pretty cool, it's different, but a more realistic one I think would be so much better. I feel like I would use it so, like, so much more often. But anyways, here I'm working on the floor plan. The floor plan phase, like stays pretty much the same when I go to decorate it. I do change a couple of things. Um, like originally I put a wall down the center of the kitchen and dining room area basically to uh, split up the spaces but I decided that having them as like one room would work a lot better so that's what I end up doing. I also end up getting rid of these double doors that lead into the office and I do an archway instead. I felt like that worked better for the space too and I think I switch up that fireplace for a different one but yeah I really like this floor plan. I feel like it just makes so much sense for like a whole 1970s theme. It feels very realistic to me especially having like the divider in the living room and especially once I open up the kitchen and dining room, I think that worked so much better. And then of course the play area is probably my favorite space I've ever made in any build. It's so cool. And I love that we have the platforms now because it really added to this whole look. And I was kind of nervous because the second floor is the shortest wall height. And so I wasn't sure if the Sims heads were going to like be clipping through the ceilings or if like adult Sims couldn't walk up there because I do raise the platform up I think by like two levels and so I really wasn't sure but I did play test it and my sim could get up there no problem. I had a child sim and an adult sim in my player tester household and yeah they had no issues so that was really cool <laughs> and there's plenty of room for them to like do stuff together up there. I had them like start a school project and it was just so fun. I think it looks really good but anyways here I'm adding a basement I was really happy to be able to fit a basement in like really easily I knew I wanted to include one so yeah thankfully it was really easy with the floor plan because sometimes the floor plan can really get in the way because you have nowhere to put like a staircase leading to the basement but this time it was pretty easy I did have a few issues when placing the basement with the terrain level though you probably noticed it was trying to raise up next to the garage door and I did not want that to happen but thankfully I could just move it over slightly and it didn't didn't affect it at all but yeah it was a pretty easy fix but anyways here I'm doing sort of like a two level thing with the staircase in the basement I felt like this would really add to the whole like 1970s feel especially adding a half wall in here and a pillar I just think that looks just really good with the whole 1970s look. You will notice though here on the back I do have a slight little bit of the terrain raised up but thankfully I was able to hide it with a bush <laughs> so that was um, a pretty easy fix. I also really liked including the sprinklers in the front yard. I think that really adds to the look as well. I really wish that we had round swimming pools. I know you can cover up the edges of the swimming pool with different objects. I've seen lots of people do that but I really would just like them in the game as an actual like I don't know build option <laughs> but I mean this looks okay I did think about trying to cover up the edges but I just I don't know I didn't really think it would um, 
I don't know, be really worth it, I guess. Maybe it would have. Maybe it would have looked a little bit better. But I still think it looks good, even though it's not, like, perfectly round. But I add this stone around the swimming pool. I've seen this in a lot of reference images that I've been looking at on Pinterest of, like, real-life backyards in, like maybe not necessarily the 1970s maybe more 60s or 50s maybe no maybe 1970s I don't know I was looking at lots of different things when it came to actually doing the backyard and like the interior for the interior I mostly looked at real life images and um, images from that 70s show I wasn't trying to make it look like the house from that 70s show I would definitely like to do that at some point but it was helpful when trying to figure out how to decorate the home because I mean, it's supposed to look like the 70s, so it kind of worked. But yeah, I was looking at things from like all the mid-century decades. So yeah, I was trying to make it look more like the 70s though, even though I was looking at the other ones. But anyways, I did add a bicycle to the front. I really like doing that. I feel like that's just like a cute look to have a bicycle like leaning against the hedges or a fence or something. And speaking of fence, I really like the fence that I chose for this build. This one came from backyard stuff I'm pretty sure and I think it works perfect for the style and yeah I put a couple of floaties in the swimming pool I end up actually swapping out the uh, the whale one for the pizza slice I felt like that was just kind of fun and went with the style a little bit and then for the landscaping I'm doing a lot of greenery just like green hedges green bushes green trees I'm not really sure is there even any flowers I might not even use a flower <laughs> I don't think I did um, but yeah I think it looks really good and I'm continuing with the overgrown grass look I do it around the sidewalk and you'll see that I terrain paint this like whole area in with sand but like I said I do change it I think at the end of the video um, I think you guys will see that in the speed build I do like the sand and I like that sims can actually build sand castles in it but I don't know for some reason back here I didn't really like the look of it I liked it much better when it was all grassy so yeah I really like this backyard though I think it's so cute with the whole like pool area and just all the activities like I can really imagine sims barbecuing out here and having like pool parties and all of that kind of stuff super cute but yeah over here is where I put the dining table I tried a few different options but I just go with one of the base game umbrella tables and like I was saying I use the base game chairs with the table but I swapped them out for the ones that came from eco lifestyle because they're so like 1970s looking or 1980s like they're so cool looking I really really like them but yeah I think the backyard is really fun and I think that's pretty much it for the exterior I just added a few planter pot so your sims can do some gardening and then here I do add some flower boxes to the windows I actually end up removing those once I went to go take the screenshots I just I don't know I felt like they didn't really go with the house they're too cutesy and I didn't feel like the house was that cutesy so if you like them you could of course add them back but yeah I decided to get rid of them but anyways moving on to the interior I decided to start with the uh, the kitchen I just felt like this was like a better place to start and I felt like if I really captured the look of the kitchen then the rest of the house would kind of follow I don't know if you guys agree but sometimes I feel like I don't know the kitchen is just like the place to start so that's what I did and I decided to use these counters that came from dream home decorator in this green color but then I use them in combination with some base game cabinets they don't match but the colors of them I felt like worked really well together I don't know the, that 70s show kitchen has green counters and so that's why I use these ones and I felt like the like the shade of green felt kind of 1970s but the wood tone of these ones actually felt very 1970s from like the like the realistic images that I was looking at on Pinterest a lot of like the wood the woods in the kitchen were like this more orangey wood but the counter top to the base game counters that match these cabinets don't look 1970s at all they look a lot more like 1990s so I decided not to use those and use the dream home decorator ones instead and I think that was a good choice and then for the dining table I used this giant round dining table and then the chairs came from dream home decorator they're a little bit more like modern looking I think the 1970s but I think they can pass, especially in this green swatch. <laughs> so let me know if you guys agree. Of course, like I was saying, the chairs that came from Eco Lifestyle would be perfect in here too. I just liked these ones a little bit better for the kitchen and I didn't want the exact same chairs on the patio and I really wanted to use those on the patio. But yeah, in here, um, I just add clutter and try to make it feel fully decorated and lived in. I also remembered a, um, 
alarm, a fire alarm. I think I even also remembered a thermostat. Oh yeah, and I forgot a vacuum while I was building it, but I remembered it when I was taking the screenshot. So you'll see a vacuum by the washer and dryer next to the back door in the screenshots. <laughs> and I chose the one that is like the bag style one and it has flowers on it and it's green. I thought that was kind of cute, but yeah, I just added lots of different stuff in here. There's a um, countertop oven that came from Dream Home Decorator. I thought that kind of looked a little bit retro, so I thought that was pretty cool. There's also a coffee pot in here and just random decorations that I thought would look good. Some aprons on the walls and yeah, I don't know, I like this kitchen. I think it's very charming, especially with this floral wallpaper. Like this floral wallpaper I think is so perfect for this look so I was really pleased with um, yeah the way it looked in here and also with this flooring too this flooring is like a recolor of the base game one it came from Strangerville but it's like a dirty version of the base game flooring and I think it actually looks really really good in this kitchen especially in combination with the colors with the kitchen counters and the cabinets and the wallpaper I think it just all goes together really nicely so you guys have to let me know if you agree I don't know maybe I'm just I don't know, alone in my obsession with this house, but I think it's super fun. Um, but yeah, over here is of course the living room area. I end up getting rid of this um, fireplace and I use one that came from, I forget exactly which one I end up using, maybe the parenthood one. We'll see here in just a moment. But yeah, in here I just have like some bookcases and I decided to use this couch that came from Cats and Dogs. I think this green, like, pattern on the couch just it works pretty good I think for this more like retro 1970s style and I also think this chair that came from Cottage Living works pretty well in this yellow color especially I thought was pretty cool but yeah I kind of just shuffle things around trying to find a good placement and also kind of a realistic placement I didn't want everything to feel like it had the perfect spot or that everything was really matchy or tidy I was just trying to I don't know get the best look I think think for the space and also for the style so yeah hopefully I achieved it I also end up sizing up the TV to look like one of those really large older TVs I probably should have used the one that came from eco lifestyle with the bunny ears I did end up using it in the teenagers bedroom but I didn't use it in the living room I don't know maybe it would have looked better but I do think this one looks good and eco lifestyle is actually a really good pack if you guys like a more retro look to your items it actually comes with lots of good things same with like bowling stuff of course get famous comes with quite a few items the stuff from get famous though is a lot more like gimmicky looking like mid-century I don't know let me know if you guys agree it's a little bit more cheesy looking I think same with bowling stuff but it it does look pretty good I do like the eco lifestyle stuff probably the best out of all of them that come with more of um like the mid-century to 1970s like 70s look of stuff but uh, also Strangerville comes with these really great paintings that I end up using here in the living room and also in the basement like they work great for this style so Strangerville is another good option if you guys are into um, this whole style but I love this living room it feels pretty realistic to me and I liked using the solid color of wallpaper in here rather than having a pattern in every single room I felt like breaking up the pattern would be a better look I don't know if it's as realistic I don't know I feel like wallpaper is very common in the 1970s so maybe that would have been a better choice but I think looks wise in the sims it was better to break it up so I do have that same pattern in the office area that I do in the kitchen and then I think I might use it somewhere else in the build too. Then of course the play area has a crazy like dot pattern on that green wallpaper. I don't really know what you would call that pattern, but I think it looks pretty cool. But anyways, yeah, that's it for the living room. I do add a couple of decorations next to the TV that you'll see in the screenshots though. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, over here is going to be the office space. So I was really trying to think of the family that lives here and give them a bit of like a personality. And I decided that one of the parents is really into music. So I put a keyboard in here. I also put a guitar in the living room and another one in here and I put a few like radios around. I sized down the jukebox that we have from base game and I put it here on the table. Unfortunately, if you raise up a, like a stereo like this, it they don't work. <laughs> so I do hide another speaker in here that you could have your Sims interact with and they can dance and they can listen to it and all that kind of stuff. But I like the looks of it sized down and put on 
that side table but yeah I also put a couple of these like framed guitar pictures that came from get famous in here I think I don't know I think these look really good also oh yeah I put a uh, microphone and so yeah one of these parents is really into music I don't know if they do it professionally or what they do exactly but I mean you guys could of course come up with that if you decide to play in this home I didn't think too in-depthly about it but um, yeah, I like that idea. But anyways, over here is the downstairs bathroom. It's just a tiny half bath with a sink and a toilet and it's very small, but it definitely serves its purpose. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's really nothing special, but I do, I do like the way it turned out. And next to it, I will have a laundry area. And like I was saying, this is where I end up placing the, um, the vacuum. I put it next to the door. So You'll see that in the screenshots, but yeah, just put a washer and dryer in here, a counter in between them, some cabinets, and basically clutter that I felt like would um, look like it belonged by the washer and dryer. I also put a litter box in here, and I put a food bowl in the kitchen so you could easily have a cat in here. You could, of course, have a dog, and they don't really need any extra things. You might want to put another food bowl in there, because I'm not sure how quickly the sim animals would eat their food if there's two animals. I really wish they drank water. I know I mention this every time I include a food bowl, but they only need a food bowl. They don't need a water dish. They can drink water if there's like a puddle on the ground, but they don't need it. And I think that's silly. <laughs> I wish that they did. Um, but yeah, this is the hallway. I just put a few decorations in here. Nothing too special, very simple. Um, but yeah, the garage, I actually really like the way the garage turned out. I put some random decorations in here. I put a heater in here, just this nice little standing one that came from Snowy Escape, just so if it's cold out, your Sims won't freeze in the garage. I do imagine that like the dad of the household spends a lot of time in here. I was picturing like, have you guys ever seen F is for Family? I was kind of imagining the dad from that TV show and like his whole personality and everything spending a lot of time in here and... I even put a mini fridge in here so he could have his drinks and snacks and whatever and there's a punching bag so he could exercise there's also a woodworking table and just random garage clutter that I thought would look good oh yeah I also ended up including a dartboard in here I used that uh, chalkboard that came from I believe um, get together but anyways it has some marks on it that look like it could be like a scoreboard or something so I imagine it was them keeping track while playing darts and then I also used this clock that has like this cool animation with like the desert scene on it and that came from Strangerville I thought that worked pretty nicely in here and just random signs and things that I thought the sim might decorate their garage with so yeah I think this looks super cute I'm really pleased with the way this turned out like everything I'm just completely obsessed with this house <laughs> like I said if you guys like it as half as much as I do then then you'll be pretty happy watching it hopefully but uh, yeah I also placed a lava lamp in there and then here is a stereo that came from Strangerville and I sized it down so same as the other one that I used um, sized down and raised up it does not work but I did hide a speaker next to the garage door just I just used one of like the wall speakers and I sized it down small so you can you can still see it it's like perfectly visible but it's not like so obvious that it's there and so if you want your sims to dance and listen then they have to listen to that one unfortunately but yeah this is pretty much it for the garage and i just love it but anyways moving on to the basement i do imagine this is a teenager's bedroom and this was another thing that my husband mentioned um kind of reminded him of like hyde's bedroom in that 70s show so i felt pretty good about myself <laughs> and achieving uh like the whole look but down here I do have just a bedroom, a bathroom, and pretty simple decorations. I mean I tried to make it look like a teenager's room and I tried to make it feel like it was in the 1970s somewhat. The bathroom is very simple though. I didn't add like a lot of clutter in here because I really didn't think this teenager that I had in mind would bother adding decorations to their bathroom and I don't think the parents like ever come down here. They don't really have a reason to, maybe to make their kid come up and have dinner or do some chores or their homework or something like that but I kind of think that this teenager is about ready to move out maybe they're even done with high school they're just not moved out yet maybe they're trying to figure out what they're gonna do maybe they're gonna go to college I don't know they clearly like music like one of their parents so I put a few musical related items in here and just some posters I also used that like Pink Floyd looking poster I thought that was pretty perfect to go along with the 70s theme another lava lamp um, the lava lamps came from Strangerville by the way in case you guys aren't really like familiar with it but I think that item is so cool and 
yeah, that's it for the basement. But moving on to the second floor, I put um, a few decorations here in the hallway. Nothing too special, really. It's just a, a hallway. <laughs> but I do uh, change up the wallpaper to be this one that has the wood paneling on the bottom and the floral pattern, uh, the same one that I used in the kitchen and in the office space. But yeah, here is the play area. So I think this whole like split level really, really adds to the like whole like retro feel of the home, especially in combination with the brown uh, carpet and the green wallpaper and then these curtains that came from cats and dogs. I just think uh, it looks so disgusting, <laughs> but I think it's so fun at the same time. But yeah, I basically just tried to add activities that'd be fun for Sims children. So I have a hamster cage in here. I have like a school project as well as um, a building block table. I end up placing the, um, whatever you call this little cube that they can do the puppet shows in. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I placed it in here and I did play test it to make sure it worked. And then I also added the little like scouts board so your sims can be in the scouts if you would like them to. And then just some toys around and stuffed animals and I think another lava lamp because I couldn't help myself but to add them in like every space possible. And yeah, I just, I really like this room a lot. I think it's so fun and it's one of my like favorite spaces I've ever decorated in The Sims just because it just really goes along with the theme. But I did think about getting rid of the puppet show thing and putting like a dollhouse in here instead, but I decided not to. But of course, if you guys decide to play in this house, you could customize it to fit any activity that your Sims children are into or any other sort of like activity room or bedroom like I was saying so yeah there's lots of different possibilities and then over here is going to be the upstairs bathroom so it's the only bathroom upstairs but I think that's fine considering there is one downstairs and in the basement so not too bothered by it and I don't really think an ensuite to like the master bedroom would be totally necessary in this style of build I feel like it'd be I don't know kind of overkill so I didn't bother trying to squeeze one in and I think that actually worked a lot better especially with like doing the bedrooms because I think the bedrooms are all really good sized. I was actually pleased with how big all of them are. The, the uh, toddler's bedroom is the smallest, but it's still like a really good size for when they like age up. Sometimes toddler's rooms are like really small and they're only gonna be enjoyable to play in while the sim is a toddler and then once they're bigger it's gonna be too small but anyways yeah this worked out pretty well I think considering how many sims can live in this house but the bedrooms that I end up decorating are one for a couple of parents one for a toddler like I mentioned a kids room and then another teenagers room but I do imagine that they're more like a younger teen like maybe like 14 15 while the other teen is more like 17 18 kind of age I don't know not that we really have those ages necessarily in the game, but that's what I was imagining while decorating it. But this room I think is so fun. I think this floral wallpaper is so cute. I was kind of thinking that maybe it looked a little bit like those like classic like hippie flowers that you would see from like the 1960s and 70s. So that's what I was imagining it looked like, um, even though it's a little bit more like cutesy and youthful looking than, than that, I think. But yeah, I think this room is adorable and I liked putting two of the single beds next to each other. I've been doing this a lot recently, but I just don't like the proportions of the single beds very much. I mean, they're okay, but I just feel like they look so just long and narrow. I wish that they were more than just one tile wide. I think the tile system doesn't always work out the best for creating furniture in The Sims. It makes the like the um, end tables way too big if they're one tile in size and that seems to be like the standard size for them and the beds just look awkward so I think putting two of them next to each other makes them look more like a realistic size I don't know let me know if you guys agree but I think it looks good you could of course remove one of them if you don't like it but yeah I gave this sim a vanity I thought this looked pretty cute but I did use a ottoman um, as the seat so you can't actually use it that way so if you want it to be functional you have to put another like regular chair and have it snap to the um the vanity to have it function but i think like this it just looks cute and i like all the makeup clutter and it just feels very girly and i can just imagine this teenager with like her giant farrah fawcett hair and just that whole like look <laughs> i think um i think it's pretty perfect but 
yeah I decided to get rid of that dresser and use this one instead and there was a little bit of gap in between the bed and the wall so I decided to put a shelf here and just add a few clutter pieces just to sort of fill in the space and I think this was a good choice because I think it looks really good and then over here is going to be the kids room and for the kids room I basically decided just to go for a color scheme instead of like a personality I really wanted to go with like a blue color scheme <laughs> so that's what I did um, and I put a few activities in here I decided to put an arts and crafts table for children in here so there's some sort of activity to do um, I also put quite a few sports related things in here so maybe the sim is into sports and yeah I put a bookshelf over here there's a toy box and yeah just some like random decorations oh yeah I also really liked using that locker bookshelf that came from Discover University I used one in here and in the garage and I think they look really good but yeah that's it for that room and then here I'm realizing that I should probably add a couple of like toddler items so I just added a toddler potty I also end up putting a high chair in the kitchen but the toddler room is very adorable I think I used some dinosaur wallpaper and I pretty much just tried to match the colors to the bed. <laughs> um, I, so it's orange and it's green and um, I think it's really cute. But there I'm just placing the high chair. I did have to move the table a little bit and make sure Sims could actually get to everything and hopefully there's no like routing issues because it's a bit crowded in there. You might want a smaller dining table but I really wanted a round one because that 70s show has kind of a round table in their kitchen but it has more of like a has a different tabletop I'm not sure what you would call that texture if you guys are familiar with the show you might know what I'm talking about but and it's not perfectly round either it's more of like an oblong shape I think but anyways this is going to be the parents bedroom so I decided to use this bed that came from cottage living and I used these curtains that came from cats and dogs the same ones that I used in the play area but this time I'm using them in this yellow color and I think this is so perfect and then I used the same wallpaper that I used in the kitchen and office and stuff but yeah this room is fairly simple it's quite small for a master bedroom so it was a little bit tough squeezing everything in but I think I managed to make it look um, fully decorated and pretty cute so hopefully you guys will like the way it looks and then here I'm just adding the final few uh, decorations and we're on to the screenshot so thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have and I'll talk to you guys soon bye <laughs>